Hey there. Got a knife stray boar here. I just wanted to share some of my thoughts uh, about the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Global version, it's all I play. Um, I see a lot of runs and I want to tell you a little bit about what my plan is for sharing content. Obviously, I'm going to start sharing some polls. Um, so you can kind of, we can all commiserate together. Uh, those times when Banner eats up a bunch of our tickets and gives us nothing. Um, but also just to, to uh, some things that I wish I had found out about Final Fantasy before uh, I started doing some really stupid stuff. Uh, for example, um, anytime you get, just for the new people out there, um, weapons, make sure you keep anything gold until you have the passive. Um, I didn't know how that worked at first, so I found myself uh, selling 15 CP weapons, so CP you can see here, here's all the 35s, maxed out 15s, I started selling all these 15s before I had them fully leveled up, uh, until I realized that that wasn't a good thing to do. Um, now you can see here, I got this one on a pole, I've already got the passive, and uh, so this is one I can sell and I will sell, but I'm having to play catch up a little bit here because I got rid of a lot of them that I didn't think I needed. Um, obviously with armor, I put a lot into characters that, come to find out, aren't really that good. Um, started watching people like Josepher and um, Mets Play and Soul DFFOO and yeah there's a lot of characters that you can just kind of ignore. Um, so I've spent a lot of resources on ones, you probably saw me over here, uh, collecting EX weapons of uh, people that I probably didn't need to get. Um, so, big thanks, big shout out to those guys for creating some really great con content. Um, I don't want to be stepping on their feet. They're going to give you all the information you need to know about, you know, if banners are worth pulling on or what they're going to pull on. And But mine's more just, here's the mistakes I made and don't be an idiot like me. Um... Yeah, you can see I've got these two EXs and I barely even use these guys. Um, so things to think about. Um, something else too that uh, I didn't really know about first getting started was, you know, what are good passives? And thankfully, like I said, those guys post a lot of good info on awakenings and passives and you know, definitely take a look at what they got, but I'm going to show you, for example, uh, my Golbez, I had uh, some Adojas, and <laughs> these are the first two I got. So I've been running them just on two, and it's actually been working out just fine. He's still a beast. Um, otherwise, you know, see some of these guys, they grind out a bunch of passives, some really good ones. Um, obviously, if you've got the time, you got the patience, I don't always have that. Um, work on getting those those top tier passives, those 108 attacks, the 330 max braves, and a lot of times, so a little set here. That mood shade butterfly boost is uh, pretty nice. Race party, initial brave, max brave attack and defense by 5%. I mean, come on. So, if you got them, definitely use them. Um, 
and those are just kind of my first initial thoughts. If you have other questions, uh, definitely post them for me. Uh, I'm happy to answer. Like I said, I've made a lot of bonehead moves, just spent a lot of gems, a lot of tickets early on characters that I don't really use anymore. Um, so you know, learn from learn from the folks who are more educated than I am. Make your own judgments. Definitely play with the characters you like. And uh, if there's a any way, any questions you have for me, let me know. Uh, I'll try and post things somewhat regularly, um, even if it's just kind of like silly fun things uh, that I did. So hope you all enjoy, and good luck on your polls.